Hello, today we are going to talk about the log Thomas Torset shunt. This BTC shunt is a step of Norwood procedure. Norwood procedure is used for hypoplastic left sided heart. And the other two steps involved in Norwood procedure are Glenn procedure. Are known as Hemi Fonten, and the third one is Fonten procedure. Simply about the PTD shunt. It is a shunt from subclavian artery to pulmonary artery. About the Glenn procedure, it is connection of superior vena cava. To pulmonary artery. And about the Fontaine procedure, the third and last step of Norwood procedure, we connect the inferior vena cava with the pulmonary artery. BTT shunt is done in the first week. Glenn at around six months and the fountain procedure at around six years so why do we need BTT shunt <laughs> this shunt is needed in duct dependent heart defects Ending condition which impairs pulmonary blood flow. So we need to preserve the pulmonary blood flow. This is the picture of the fetal heart. This is the right side. And this one is the left side. Here we have the ductus arteriosus. The duct dependent conditions include tricuspid atresia and there is abnormality in the tricuspid wall. So the blood from inferior vena cava and superior vena cava cannot pass in this tricuspid area. When there is pulmonary atresia, the blood can enter into the right vent but cannot go out of the right vent. That is known as pulmonary atresia, and the third condition is when there is stenosis of the pulmonary outflow, there is a VST, So the right side of the heart has to pump against resistance by the stenosis and through the VST so it hypertrophies. And the blood from superior vena cava and inferior vena cava goes into the aorta that is known as Overriding of aorta. These four things are part of tetralogy of fellow that is stenosis, a VST, right ventricular hypertrophy, and aortic overriding. These together to, together make up the Tetralogy of fellow. So, what do we do in BTT shunt? In BTT shunt, we make a connection between subclavian artery and 
multiple minute reactor in the classical type in the subclavian was directly connected to the pulmonary artery so the blood can go to the pulmonary arteries but now we use the modified type in which we make a pathway between the subclavian artery and pulmonary artery so the blood can go into the subclavian as well into the pulmonary artery what's the use of PTT shunt it is used to increase pulmonary blood flow so to prevent cyanosis it is a palliative surgery so we can get time for the correction surgery thank you for watching